Welcome back. You're watching the opening trade. Now it's the time to put the focus on uh, Inox Leisure, where the company again has delivered a strong set of fourth quarter earnings. We saw revenue again uh, jumping by almost 48% versus the last year. Profit decreased, but that again optical decreased primarily because the last time there was a huge tax gain of almost 53 crores. So again, why by comparison, that's why profit is looking slightly lower. Overall, again, it has been a good growth. A bit of margins have improved. Occupancy has improved. Again, there has been a good sort of March quarter in the context of footfall. So broadly, company again has delivered again some strong set of earnings here. Let's try and understand again how the trend looking, how the sort of moving parts so within the March quarter earnings are looking like. And for that, let's welcome Alok Tandon, the CEO at Anox Leisure. Mr. Tandon, uh, good morning and welcome uh, to BTVI. Uh, first question to you, March quarter, if you look at the metrics across revenue, a bit of margin, a bit of growth, net profit growth, footfalls, and also occupancy, all actually have shown, uh, have shown again some good metrics. Help us understand the reasons and the durability of the improvement in metrics. Well, uh, thank you for having me on the show. And just to tell you that we have we have had a stellar 2018-19, and our numbers are speaking for the for themselves. Uh, whether it's a growth in ATP or SPH or our ad revenues, which have gone up, uh, uh, a lot of hard work and conscious effort has gone behind these these results. Uh, our EBITDA has gone up to 309 crores, which is a jump of 47 percent from the last financial year. Our PAT numbers are now 129 crores, which is a more than 100 percent jump from the last financial year. And all the effort put on by the by, uh, put in by the team uh, have uh, has resulted in these great numbers. Uh, just to add to it, we added 85 screens in the last financial year, and that was a record in the industry itself. Uh, we had 6.25 crore footfalls, which was an Inox record. Uh, we had 74 rupees as a spend per head where food is concerned. And again, that was a record uh, which we created at Inox. So uh, in all operational metrics, uh, we have done well. And not to forget the eighth consecutive quarter where our ad revenues have increased and the percentage has gone up. Right, and Mr. Tanner, let's also talk about ad revenue, something again which adds up to better margins also. It has shown strong growth. We, in fact, if I look at the metrics here, that's telling me it's a 29% growth in the fourth quarter. If I look at FI19, it's a 27% growth versus the last year. Uh, what about the, the sort of ad revenue growth here? Was it about higher ad price or higher ad volumes? Well, let me tell you, uh, uh, in FI1819, we had this go-to-the-market approach, approach. We had lots of feet on street. Uh, we had people sitting with media managers to find out innovative ways to advertise their products on our screens in our lobby and the real estate which we had in our cinema halls. Uh, uh, we had uh, uh, new ways of, of engaging with our guests so that they could back, go back uh, to the, or we could go back to the advertising agencies and tell them that how effective their ads have been. So a lot of work has gone into uh, ensuring that our revenues keep on increasing where ads are concerned. Um, our effective rate for the advertisements went up uh, from FY18. So per minute, uh, the charge which we had in FY18 was substantially increased in FY19. And yes, you rightly said that a part of it was, is also because of opening new screens uh, in the last financial year. Right, then staying on the screens, you added about 28 screens in the March quarter. That's a good sort of run rate for the full year also. Again, the screen addition rate has been very robust. Uh, how's the FI20 target looking like? Another uh, 70 to 80 screens. Can we expect that sort of addition? Well, uh, uh, let me tell you, I will not talk about uh, what we are going to open in quarter one or quarter two of this financial year, but I would like to say that our endeavor is to open 80 screens in this financial year in FY, uh, for FY20. And uh, we've already opened two properties and nine screens till now. And today, the 30th of May, we've already opened uh, nine screens. And we are very, very sure that we'll open another 71 till 31st of March, 2020. Going forward, we have signed about 850 screens. These are screens where the documents have already been uh, penned and, and signed. And uh, in the next few years, you'll see Inox opening uh, these screens and adding to our entire kitty. Okay, and since screen addition again requires investments also, but uh, your balance sheet again is telling us uh, you're net debt free, and that's the positive part here. But any plans to raise fund funds for faster expansion? 
Well, no plans as of now. Uh, we are proud to be a net debt free company. Uh, we have got a strong and a healthy balance sheet and uh, uh, we are looking at internal accruals for expansion. And uh, uh, this is something which we are very proud of as a company that uh, and, and, and even being net debt free, our expansion has continued. We have opened 85 screens uh, in the last financial year and that will keep on happening. Very interesting part the investors would like to know, has the trends of the EBITDA margins changed firmly, structurally? Yeah, if I look at the fourth quarter, it's 20% EBITDA margin, but that's also a function of higher occupancy. If I look at FI19, we're talking about 18% EBITDA margin versus 16% last time. So are we talking about a 20% or higher EBITDA margin trend or somewhere between 18% about again, that it should be the normalized margin levels for FI20 also? Well, I would say the quarter has been good and, and even the effort leading to these margins has been uh, substantial. Uh, the, a lot of work has gone into improve our EBITDA margins. Yes, top line adds to everything, but at the same time, how we have controlled our costs, how we have uh, ensured that uh, our occupancy trends keep on increasing. So all that is a function of the EBITDA margin. And uh, this is something which we as a company are endeavoring to do and, and keep uh, the, uh, the pedal pressed hard so that the margins keep on in, in, in increasing. Right, and Mr. Chandan, let's uh, also talk about the June quarter. March quarter was good. Again, uh, your uh, movie slate definitely again tells us what could be the impact uh, from the movies. In the March, you had Uri, Simba, Total Damal, Kesri, and all that uh, basically contributed to footfalls there. And as our screen is telling us, Avengers has seen some strong collections in the June quarter. Uh, what we should be expecting from the June quarter, given the fact Bharat is also going to come next month. So, should we expect a strong June quarter from you? Well, uh, again, I will not give you a flavor of the quarter, but I'll just tell you that Avengers was history. Uh, it just created history. Uh, the number of shows we had, the number of houseful shows, uh, people thronging into our lobbies, dancing. It was like a carnival. It was like a, a festival going on. And uh, movies like this, I would say... Uh, come uh, uh, not at regular intervals, though we would love to do it. Uh, the last movie which I saw such frenzy was Bahubali, The Conclusion. And uh, this movie, again, the, the hype about it, and there are people who watch the movie three or four times, uh, whether it was an early morning show or a late night show. And to add to it, the formats which we helped, uh, or which we have, uh, uh, people tried various formats. So there were people who watched Avengers in IMAX, they watched the movie Avengers in our insignia screens, and also in MX40. Just to experience that movie in different formats was a big thing. And uh, uh, as we said, that Q1 till now with Avengers Bear, it has been quite good. And uh, hopefully, uh, it should be a good quarter where uh, the movie's uh, lineup is concerned. Definitely, again, uh, since you're already telling, again, uh, that was a sort of historic, uh, again, uh, movie again for you. So, collections from that and then the Salman Khan movie, perhaps is something which is going to raise hopes for investors. But uh, lastly... Any plans for fresh acquisitions? You have done a couple of acquisitions uh, over the last uh, many quarters. Uh, any plans for any fresh new acquisition? Well, we are just concentrating on, on organic. Uh, we have uh, done three acquisitions till now, uh, which was in 2006-07 of CCPL or West Bengal. Then 2010, we acquired Fame India Limited. And 2014, we took over Satyam Cinemas of Delhi. So uh, uh, we have done the... Uh, three inorganic acquisitions and going forward we are not shy from acquiring a company we are not shy of it but as of now the focus of the company is only on organic growth mr Chandan, thanks a lot uh, for joining us uh, and indeed again all the wishes to you for the june quarter which so far looks like it's promising uh, to be a very strong quarter for you so that's the uh, inox interaction today maybe again one person down but let's flip the chart into a sort of a six month chart let's see again how in the last six months the stock is done uh, March quarter was definitely very, very good and 39% returns already delivered in the last six months. Again, no surprise if the after results, again, not seeing any major fireworks because before that, the stock has done a lot and the June quarter, as he has just indicated, Avengers were very, very strong in box office collections. Bharat, another big ticket movie, student of, uh, again, another one, again, student of a uh, year, again, uh, part two again. So that perhaps could also be promising another one. So again, watch out for the stock and now let's... Uh,